Income Life. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Life is Strange, the blind as fuck playthrough. And there goes sponsorship money right there. This is your man, Positively Glad here, bringing you back the Life is Strange playthrough. It's been a few days. I finally got myself a bit of a chance to play this. So here we go then. All right, so a bit of a recap on last time, which you'll probably see anyway, because I had to thing. Fucking bottles! That's all I'm saying. Fucking bottles! But anyway, um... We are here. I'm going to turn the TV down to 5, just so you can't hear it echoing through the microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a really, really fun time for me streaming recently. I've recently just hit over 470 followers, and I've been flirting. Flirting. Oh, God, my voice. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Flirting with... Oh, wow, it's sinking data. Um, okay. Well, it says on my screen, sinking, so... Obviously, you guys can't see this, so we're just waiting for this to, to go. Here we go. That right then. Here we go. Right. So, I'm in the junkyard. It took me about half an hour to find a bottle, which was in a really easy place, and I found it. And then I had the shit scared out of me. Hopefully, that does not happen again. And then an amazing inception moment where basically you have to actually quit the game to move on. And my fucking pop, Pepsi. Oh, I'm actually on cheap as the pop, guys. I don't know you think I'm actually worth any money here. Um. <laughs> So here we go then. Life is strange walkthrough. Hopefully it doesn't boot me back to the fucking main menu again like it did last time. That was quite funny. Um, right. That wasn't funny. It was really annoying. Ah, uh, here we go. Yep, remember she had a seizure. Oh, fuck. There's a creeper man. There's a creeper man. Of course you should have blackout, didn't you? There. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just straight back into the deep end here. This is as far as I got anywhere last time, so. Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. And but I had to actually restart the game last time. This power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I think this is a photo op, isn't it? Yep. Now, I think there's a way that you can see that creepy man. So, we're going to go have a little look around. Anything else to have a look at while I'm here? We've already, we've, we've already looked at all this! Yeah. Right, we're gonna go back around here, and then we'll carry on with the mission, obviously. There's the washing machine. The washing machine of fucking doom. See, I don't know where that building's gone now. Oh, that's over. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. That kind of hurts. Ooh. Just a little bit of a recap, guys. I've already done the list in the previous episode, but this is for... I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Well, you also couldn't see yourself blacking out and looking like an absolute twat, but there you go. So Rachel <laughs> did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I mean, I, I obviously don't know if she's I alive or not, die. but... Jeez. Who wrote this? Oh, man. See, it's really... This is getting a little bit dark, this, with what it was. Fuck you. Yes, you. Quality. There goes more sponsorship, buddy. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. See, is this girl into girls, or is she just kind of... Like, nothing. You know what I mean? It's one of them, isn't it? Uh, no, we're not looking at the old doll. Fuck it, we'll skip... Because I've spent this, last, this much time around here. I don't want to spend any more time. So let's go speak to Chloe quickly. Here we go. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Uh-oh. Who the fuck is that guy? Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie? 
Think, Clyde. Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Uh-oh. Huh? You'll get a your lot. money. Drugs and human. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. Uh -oh. It's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? Oh, it was God. a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. Oh, my you God. You cut you, bitch. Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good I'm gonna shoot play, him? kids. I'm fucking shoot him! You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank no, you... is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Oh, well, I'm so sorry that I didn't wow. kill someone. Why fuck it out. Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, no! She's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. Well, that's a uh, water tower. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you Walking were here. Walking on train tracks. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Yeah, let's sit on the train track. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Yeah, actually, ask the one. Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and- Yeah, wake Max. up. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank <laughs> and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. <laughs> I never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. 
I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy without yeah. him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and Yeah, thought. ooh, ooh Plus, possibly. she's a smart ass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must Fuck be me, as cool too cheesy. as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Oh God, what the hell? Oh my god, it's vibrant! Jesus Christ! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tornado! Tornado's back! Control's going crazy! Max! Help! I got stuck! Hold on, Chloe! Oh my god. What's that noise? The train! Oh shit! Get me out of here, Max! Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Move. Move where? Come on, Max. Hurry. I can't even move it an inch. Please get me out of here. Awesome. It's not locked. Oh, what the hell? I better find a tool to cut those wires. Max! Where? Where? Oh my god! I need to pull the switching lever right now. The I can't find the tool! Max, please! Where's the tool? I can't find the tool. There's no tools. There's no tools, I can't do it. I got to pause this, there's no tools, man. The train's coming! Max, please! There's no fucking tools! Oh! Max, get me out of here! Get me out of here, quick, 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 Oh, what now, man? Please. Oh, I've had enough of this shit. The train's coming! Max. We know, you fucking silly bitch!
can pull a total MacGyver. Run! Run, woman! This is stupid. Pull. Oh, I know. Just fucking go back. You didn't even move it with this crowbar? For real? Ah, yeah. Fuse box. The train's coming. Max, please. But which wire to cut? Max, get me out of here. Whoa. Short circuit city. You keep. Oh my fuck, God, man. Right, so it's definitely not that Which one. Which wire to cut? Red. Max, get me out of here! Now that's the right cable. Yes! I did it! Fuck it out! Holy moly! You okay? Oh, it's like six you saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool yeah, to spend time yeah. in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Holy moly! That's a stop. Is that it? Oh no, we're back in school. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, no, your nothing at all. power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Mm. Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course Good of my point. destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy <laughs> shit happens. Because it can. And will. Yeah, Why they went to that. I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? <laughs> yeah. We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be <laughs> such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Ah, and then the car blows up. <laughs> yeah, rewind time to that, fuckers. Fuck a block, well. Please just say this is the end of fucking episode two. Oh, Vortex Club. a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Let's go speak to the gaffer. Oh, look, it's... Carrying a gun to class is cool, though. <laughs> yeah, man. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. What a prick. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. 
Uh, is there any things I can take a picture of? Literally just gonna see if I can take a picture of anything. That snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello climate change. Wait, it's court <laughs> Trevor. Oh wait. Speak to him for a minute, I think. Uh, let's have a look at the journal, see if there's any other photos I can grab. I think we're pretty much near the end of everything now. Max, can we talk? Oh, God. I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry wow. about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about wow. her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, oh. I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You stepped between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Huh? Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max... This isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your oh. responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, let's go speak to a few people then. Justin always looks dumb. Well, that's because he fucking is, funnily enough. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. Hello, Zach. What's up, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini-drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not. Okay. You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Hey, bro. Later. Bro! Hey, bro! Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. <laughs> I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the See, list. you just alter everything in this. Sorry guys, forgive me for not talking much, but yeah, that's how we do. Trevor surveys his domain. Why can't I speak to Janet, man? Ah. Don't know what the fuck that was. Obs 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 ob
Uh, who's this here? Oh, we've got a message from Warren, obviously. Sit down. What? I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Where is the lab? We'll speak to everyone else. I have a funny feeling that we probably do need to keep Warren on side. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. I saw Victoria and her friends. Ah, no problem with that. That reminds me, I have to score Juliet some. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Oh, what the fuck? That was a random. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, oh, cool? So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Um. Just leave me alone. Okay. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. <laughs> I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is mm. being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, mm. I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Yeah. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a Sky. popular as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Oh, wow. Think, big brain, think. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? How is your drone? This can't be Miss Grant far. busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all fucked <laughs> up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. <laughs> yeah, oh god, here comes Freakazoid. 
Uh, we'll have a look at, we'll have a look at the chemistry stuff. Bring me the brain, Igor. Surely there's a photo opportunity. There's a photo opportunity there, surely. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Is there a shot of this? I don't even know. I think there's actually a photo opportunity in this room. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide, oh, no. date, but go potassium. Oh no! Which will be? If this works, you get a free hug. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> hey, <Warren. laughs> fucking coming. Okay, you look thoughtful. Maxwell Silver Hammer asking me Come for up. help. Have that. Come up. I have a sodium. Go diem. Go diem. That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Oh, I was- Ah! Hey, Warren. Maxwell- uh, uh, Have that- uh, uh. I'm not sure why you're letting me just- Potassium uh. it shall be. This works. You get a free hug. Oh, I, I meant to blow him up. <laughs> Weird science. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Show me something else I can see here. Da Vinci Poster? was a boss. He's a fucking right. Miss Grant, Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask the <laughs> Yeah, no dumb Would questions, man. Potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. All right. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver. Asking me for help? Have that either. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just... Thanks again for taking... I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my yeah, favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jeff. Forgive me for not talking that much here, guys. I'm literally just kind of listening. You must like photography. 
I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I Another have to true say, fact. it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, yeah. some of the tribes here might see it differently. One minute, guys. Wait, our guys gonna wrap up this bit of conversation, then I'm going out. So let's have a little look here. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. Make sure there's charges. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but oh, come on. I have to Charge get going. Back. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real Charge. Soon. Come on. Yeah. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it for me today. Have yourself a lovely afternoon, and I'll be back, of course, later tonight with the Elite League in F1. Ciao for now. Much love.